Behold... Space. The final frontier. Well, the human mind is yet another frontier, so I'm not sure which which is the final. Anyway, welcome back. We are on episode 3 of the Prey 2017 playthrough. We've just now discovered that all of this, the whole game thus far, has taken place aboard the Talos One, uh, orbiting the moon, orbiting Earth. Looks like South America, North, North America, mm -hmm. and a nice Transtar billboard outside of a Transtar facility to advertise to all the Transtar employees. And there goes that steam overlay. Oops. Darn it. That time, that time it was my fault. Human resources. Need lever leverage three to be able to move this stuff. Come back. Oh my goodness. It's so extensive. That is not good. Careful. <clears throat> you need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. can come down here. I was reluctant to jump, because... could kill you, or you might not be able to get back, but... Pretty cool that you can go there. Even if there's not much of a reason to. Oh. That's not good. Wait, did the door close? Okay, no. <laughs> Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Scanning target Turn. no alien material detected. Let's see if I can draw it. Got it. That's cool. Card. 
or a trauma center. Wow. Okay. Collecting all this stuff. Sure, it'll do something good. Yeah, banana peel. Lemon peel. So that phantom was patrolling in here. Psychoscope. Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. A top-secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos-1. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the attempted. rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus Oops. on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. <laughs> 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. 2030. <laughs> Being a goof. Okay. <clears throat> well. Oh. Vital signs critical. That's a bunch of new. I was in the zoom mode. <laughs> So sort of spoil the Oh boy. How far back did it go? Okay, not too far back, I don't think. Man. Kinda reminds me of uh sanity effects from Eternal Darkness. Also have to recollect this stuff. Sorry about that. Uh, that turret took out the phantom almost by itself. Good morning, Talos. 
Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get this health pack. I think we've got one already, but we we'll get it. Let's do this. Oh, we've got two. And we'll do... There we go. Should be good. Nineteen sixty, nineteen sixty, nineteen sixty three. Nope, nope. Nineteen sixty, nineteen sixty, nineteen sixty three. Sorry about that. Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. Oops, I did not mean to use two. I think I used two anyway, though. Let's also do this. Forehand. And you know what? I'm going to try this thing. That's what I should do. Just. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, Talos. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria. All right. We'll try to get this right. Until 9 a.m. Gotta remember to get the, the peels. Trash. Gonna take out the trash. Yeah, use the cigar. Yeah. Much better. Oh, I love this. It's so cool. <clears throat> so necropsy required. I wonder if that's it must be something later. Vital signs critical. And no. Maybe this is too difficult for me. I should lower the difficulty, but I don't think so. Good morning, Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries mm -hmm. promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. Oh, what? That was, okay. Maybe I should be much more careful with those. <laughs> I 
Got to stop fooling around now. Warning. Oh, I don't Tampering care with administrative about you. controls on workstations or keypads oh, may result this time. in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please. Hmm. Send a help alert to security. First wave. Oh, there were three more out there. Um, let's recharge. I think it's still pretty good. No, it's, never mind. Um, fire. I think there's still one out there too. This isn't too bad, actually. Felt like that <clears throat> worked out pretty well. Oh, can't take that. There we go. I kind of like it. Okay. Should probably save again. Now that I've finally <laughs> made it past those. Oh, come on. Alright, before going up or down any stairs, I'm going to go through here. In, I'm guessing. Oh, it's so cool. Shotgun. <laughs> Holding room. Dimitri's being held like you asked. He knew the door code, so I changed it to 1129. Deborah in the sacred texts of Beta Israel, Judges 526. Her hand she put to the tent peg, and her right leg... I don't know where leg came from. Right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer she smote Sisera. She smote through his head, yea. She pierced and struck through his temples. That's... A good one. Let's 
Survivor's Evacuation Volume 2, or Day 2. It was probably a Day 1. Need security ex escort from Alexiu to Sarah Elazar and Marco Simmons. I know you probably have your hands full right now, but we need you to send a security detail to detain Dimitri Bowser. He witnessed the incident and he's pretty shaken. We're just not sure how stable he is at the moment. Make an assessment and hold him indefinitely if necessary. Use discretion, Alexiu. Something's on the station. From Elias Black to Sarah Elazar. Ma'am, you know I want the went to the doctor about sleep and all that. I got pills, but still been seeing things. After game night, I was cleaning up and a chair moved by itself. I'm not crazy like you know who. I'm sending this cause just after the alert, I heard something in the vent over security. I thought I saw something black up there. We need to check this out because I'm starting to think there's something on the station that we don't know about. Security officer Elias Black. Illusion from Alexiu. Please add Michaela Illusion to the watch list. While she's currently performing her duties, her conditions make for a potential security risk, and we may need her leverage, or we may need leverage. Her access should be restricted to work and crew facilities. Please don't let her anywhere near the labs. Also flag down communications between her and Dr. Gallego Gallegos out of psychotronics. Medical is beginning to suspect she has white noise, so the fact she falsified her records may be enough. <clears throat> Normally I'd advocate near mod rem removal, but her condition prevents this. Keep me appraised, Alex. And missing keycard. From Alex again. Sarah, I need your help tracking down a missing keycard. This should be one of your highest priorities. It's labeled EP-101. Let me know as soon as you find it. Or anything. <laughs> Alex. Okay. Well, I think we're going to stop here for now. We've made some decent progress. Uh, well, failure was a teacher in this episode, for sure. But we came through it in the end, and here we are. So thanks, as always, for tuning in. Hope to catch y'all in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll hopefully see you then. Stay safe.